Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be another tutorial. Yes, we are going to go back to doing tutorials which is yay, I love this. And uh, this is going to be the look and I promised this look in the video that I did with Yehudit Clark and I'm going to link the video right here in the cards. If you haven't seen that, maybe check that out because that is the look that I wore back then. I did though wear that with an uber proof and today we're going to do it with a Wendy shaper because I'm back falling back into my comfort zone and not that the overproof is not but um this is this is me a hundred thousand percent so that's what we're going to do today and we're going to do again two looks with that same wrap because honestly this is i love this series that we do like one wrap in two ways i love this because it shows just how much is out there even if you would do the same wrap every single day of the week just using different scarves you could be a whole different person every single day and i love this i love the abundance in this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do, uh, this is going to be the first look and uh, then we're going to do another look which you saw on the thumbnail which is going to be a different color story. And of course this video is in collaboration with Rapunzel. Rapunzel has supplied all the scarves and the shaper that I'm wearing and everything you will find linked in the description box and if there is anything that is sold out then or is not in stock anymore or has been discontinued <laughs> then I'm sorry that's just the way it is it's just that I have what I have and I use what I have so you feel free to come up with your own things and to get just get inspired you know you do not have to of course one-on-one -on -one copy what I'm doing but do it in your own color uh, scheme that you like and in what you have or what you want to have whatever that <laughs> whatever the case might be so with all of that being said let's go into this tutorial and uh, uh, by the way, I'm going to call this the fountain of joy because, because it is. <laughs> okay, so let's go right into the first look. Okay, my lovelies, welcome to the first look. And for the first look, actually for both of the looks, we need, of course, a shaper. <laughs> or you can try it without, but I don't know if that works because I create my looks only on the basis of shapers. But uh, for the first look, we need three scarves. For both looks we need three scarves and uh, for the first one wow <laughs> for the first one i'm going to use as the base the original two-in-one in purple and i'm just gonna wrap this one in a regal wrap which means if you don't know what that means uh, which means just from the top down crossing over in the back sorry i'm just turning a little bit to my mirror um going uh, crossing over in the back and then just wrapping it around and tucking it away so that is basically just our base for today <laughs> for this look and as you saw in the intro this base uh, this look is basically purple or dark magenta or whatever you want to call it and uh, gray and white and black so I would suggest if you're very fair skinned like I am that you put a pop of color right next to your face and you do not put this scarf that is going to come next which is the diamond field scarf in silver if you were to put that next to your face um and now just imagine me without strong makeup this would be a total washout so let's be smart about this and just put a pop of color next to our face and if you do not want to have a strong color then at least use a black uh, scarf as your base okay now i chose this color obviously let me just keep working here while I'm talking to you. So I chose this color as my base because this color is repeated sort of in in the pattern here of the Harmony scarf. So that's why. That's my reason for doing this and because I love the color. It looks beautiful and adds so much life to a black and white and silver look. So that's the first step and it does not need to be super neat because uh, we're going to cover it. The only thing that you're going to see from this uh, from this scarf is basically a line here and the poofy part. Okay, so next thing is the uh, diamond field scarf and this one I'm going to fold up like this and then one more time. One second, just sorting out my life here like this and then I'm going to place that down both ends hanging down equally 
and with this one you have to see if you manage uh, without a knot. I do personally not mind having at least one knot in on the back of my head but there are people who do mind and who get headaches so you have to try maybe you can do it um, without a knot but you have to be very I don't know skilled with your hands I can imagine so because for me it always feels good to have that one stability so I know this one is not gonna slide away anyway so this is what I do I just tied one knot here and I have both ends hanging down equally and now I'm taking the harmony scarf this is by the way harmony the harmony scarf in jungle mix it looks like this and with all of those kinds of scarves you have to know that uh, every single one is a unique scarf they all look a tiny little bit different when you order one that um, that this is not gonna maybe exactly look like this one this one say that like that I think so all right <laughs> so uh, I folded this one up and I'm going to place that down just like the uh, diamond field scarf from the top down and cross it over in the back and now with this one I don't think I have to uh, tie a knot and that will also be very really, really massive if you were to tie a knot here so uh, I don't think it's necessary and I always <laughs> that's what I always do I don't know if it shows up I always hold my scarves that I'm not using right now I'm like I'm holding them like this I don't know do you do that too <laughs> I don't know it it helps me to keep them tight around my head while I'm working on the other side so that's what I'm doing I'm sort of clipping it here <laughs> like that while I'm taking the side the other side and I'm just twisting both of them a little bit like this and then I'm doing the same thing here I'm clipping my my, I'm clipping the scarf something like this under no I'm tucking it I think that's how you say it I'm tucking it under my in my armpit <laughs> something like that wow okay so uh, and then I'm just twisting these ones too like this and uh, you do not have to twist them all the way down just about maybe half of the length because then we're gonna bring them up and you only need to have them twisted so they basically till till they meet you know almost till the middle so now I'm going to try to sort out what I'm doing here because I only need the diamond field scarf and the other parts I'm going to just try to flip them out of my way so this is the point where you see that maybe without a knot or without, I don't know, any help, it might be hard to, to have this whole thing stable because these ones, you're not holding them in the, at this moment. All right, so I'm tying a knot here with a diamond field scarf on the top of my head. And with this scarf, you do not need more than one knot. With a more slippery scarf, you might have to uh, dye a, tie a double knot. Okay, so this is not slippery at all, so I'm just going to tie one knot and then I'm tugging away the ends in the, uh, in the back here, like this. Like this. And one second, like this, right. All right. And now you obviously have this is how they came out naturally right from from being twisted up like this one always comes out to the back and one always comes out to the front and what i'm doing now is the one that comes out to the front sorry i'm always looking like this but this is where my mirror is i'm going to tuck that backwards through the diamond field scarf here in the middle but i don't pull it through all the way because then it would obviously um unleash itself sort of so that's what I'm doing and this one I'm going to basically do the opposite thing I'm going to tug it backwards from the top down sort of but just a little bit so it lines up with what we have here from from this one and then it stands like this and that's the fountain of joy <laughs> this is how joy looks if you ask me so yeah so let me just show you how it looks and this is the first look and uh, we're gonna do the same wrap in a different color scheme in one second so stay tuned 
Okay, welcome to the second look and as you all know, if you are not new here, that the second look is always the one that I'm going to wear throughout the rest of the day and that basically is the one that uh, fits to my outfit, right? Okay, so for the second look, I'm going to take the tough two-in-one in, -one in uh, purple, lavender kind of a thing, like a light purple, it looks like this and of course I do not really have to explain a lot because you know now already how to do this. I'm going to going to just tie this in a regal wrap and there you see these tough two-in-ones and the original two-in-ones they are so versatile and I think they are such a um, how do you say that a staple like something like a must-have because they are so lightweight and you can do so much with them without it being heavy and they also you know just for a simple wrap they add so much like if you have just just two two-in-ones together, you know, just that, then it is already an amazing look. So these are absolutely amazing and I honestly, I should get a few more colors because all of my two-in-ones are super, super bright and I actually would like to do for you a few more subdued looks. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I would actually like to do that, you know, like monochromatic brown looks or something like this. I would really, really enjoy that too. So maybe one day we're going to do that, but for now we're going to work with uh, these bright colors, which is, this is totally me. So, all right. So this is what I did. It's again a regal wrap. And the next scarf is going to be a tough two-in-one in coral, which you just saw because I already showed you. And I'm going to again fold this up like we did with the diamond field scarf before. Like this. And I'm placing it down. You know, just just show a little bit of a um, of a rim of the lavender one. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm fighting a bit of a summer cold here. All right, so I'm pulling it towards the back, and I'm tying a knot like this. Okay, next thing I'm going to take the Harmony scarf in purple and I'm so so in love with the Harmony scarves and the Sari scarves as you must know if you saw my version of the Rapunzelista tag um, because these these are some of my top five that I mentioned in when I was answering the questions in the Rapunzelista tag. I just love them because of this, this, you know? This. <laughs> this is absolutely so cool that you oh, it's so playful I love it so so much all right so this is of course again a scarf that comes in a color scheme of its own really with its pet the own patterns and with being totally unique so again none of them will look exactly the same because they are all unique you know, they're all unique. So I'm just going to try to fold it up the way I want it to be featured. And I think that's what I'm going to go for here. And again, I'm going to place it down from the top down towards the back with both ends hanging down equally, crossing it over. And now I'm taking both of these sides. One side I'm tucking into my armpit again. <laughs> and this one I'm going to start to twist just about halfway down. That should be enough. Then I'm tucking this one here so it doesn't unravel. And I'm going to twist this one. Like this. Okay, so I'm bringing them both up like this and I'm placing it so we can still see a bit of the uh, Harmony scarf here, okay? All right, so now I'm going to find the place of the not the place. I'm going to find the strands of the um, two-in-one <laughs> like this and I'm going to tie a knot like this. So I think in this case it is not really slippery but because I'm wearing this now through the, throughout the whole day and I will not rewrap so I think in this case I'm gonna just tie another knot but maybe you don't need to do that just, you know, do whatever whatever is good for you. So I'm tucking away the ends of the tough two-in-one just behind 
the end where we stopped wrapping here. And again, we have one coming out towards the front and one coming out towards the back. So the one that came out to the front, I'm going to push it towards the back through the knot of the two-in-one like this and I'm going to have it stuck out like this a little bit and poof this up so it doesn't look ugly. Wait, I have to get rid a bit of those fringes here. Obviously with the diamond field scarf we did not have that issue because the diamond field scarf does not have any fringes. But that's no problem. Okay, so now I'm just going to poof this up a little bit. Just make sure you don't push it through all the way so it doesn't unravel. Okay, and now I'm taking the side that came out towards the back and I'm just going to stuff it a little bit towards the front like this and again you have to be careful so it doesn't unravel but it will be held down by that by the two-in-one so it's it's okay just have to play around with this a little bit and there you have <laughs> there you have the fountain of joy all right, so this is how it's gonna look. Wait, there is one fringe. No, there are more fringes. Okay, so let's just tuck this away again because uh, even though I don't think it would bother the look or it would, would ruin the look because it's all over like this anyway, but um, what do you think? <laughs> I love this, seriously. I mean, is there anything like this? I love this. Okay, let me just show you how it looks. Just keep in mind that when I'm doing my tutorials, I have no way of checking how it looks from the back, but I think, I think it's, it's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, so this is my second and my final look for today. And I really, really love this one because I'm really combining the, the best pieces, the best, you know, the two-in-ones, as I said, because they are so helpful in any wrap. And, uh, yeah, harmony scarves, sari scarves, and you can maybe also use uh, sari sashes if you want to keep it a little bit smaller. That might just do the trick as well. You know, if you want to use a smaller shaper, and maybe if I can give you another like tiny little piece of what would work if you are using smaller shapers, that when you are um, uh, using at the end as your third, uh, third or as your third scarf when you're using the harmony scarf that you maybe have to start from the bottom up and go down and then go back up you know that might you might have to do that because you have then less area to cover so that might help you to still achieve that look you know <laughs> all right so girls let me know what you think which like which look you like better or if there is a color scheme that you would go for or anything like that if you recreate this look and if you post pictures on Facebook or somewhere then please tag me because I really want to see what you're doing and um, how you how creative you are <laughs> because you are and I love I love to have the feedback so with all of that being said, just wanted to throw in that I do have a, a discount code with Rapunzel. It's affiliated. If you would like to support me in that way, then uh, feel free to do so. If not, then not, of course. And uh, besides that, go ahead and sparkle. Have an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you here next time for my next video, which is going to be on Wednesday. <laughs> all right. So up until then, love you so much. Hugs and kisses. Bye.